Good morning, everyone. It's me, Angel Benton, and it is time for another edition of Angel Sudsy Recap, where we delve into the world of daytime television and we do a few reality shows on the side for now. <clears throat> and one of the daytime TV shows that we're doing, and this is, you know, the daytime shows are really the reason why I started this whole blog, vlog, is um, Days of Our Lives. So I'm catching up on Days of Our Lives. And this past week on Days of Our Lives, it was a little bit interesting because, first of all, um, the real Gabby Hernandez, G-A-B-I, was sentenced to, um, well, she hasn't been officially sentenced for being found guilty, but they recommended that she go to Statesville Prison to be held until her appeal is settled. So, you know, she's off to jail, and, she, and not just in jail. But here's what I think about that. I would love to see the return of Sheila. Now, I know Sheila escaped from jail, and so did um, Bonnie Lockhart. I'm not, I, I, I would love it if Bonnie Lockhart came back, but I'm not holding out hope for that. So we'll see what happens. But in terms of... Um, Sheila, I mean, she got out of jail too, but you never know. You, 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 people sometimes, past behavior often is a good indicator of future behavior. So, uh, you know, she did something that got her put in jail the first time. We'll see if she is still able to keep her nose clean, but it would be great to see T-Boss. I love me some T-Boss. And I think she actually did, I loved her as the Kiriakis maid, actually. I thought she was very funny. And uh, it was pretty good. It was pretty pretty clever that they put her on the payroll like that. It was great. I loved it. I didn't care too much for this whole back backstory with Eli. I didn't think that I, I liked her better with uh, Bonnie. I thought that was more clever. Maybe we'll get to see Hattie again. That would be good. That would be really good. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. Um, but. Uh, that's what I'm not super I even though like I obviously I'm upset that Gabby was um just as a follower of the story I'm upset that she was found guilty but I also know it's essential for daytime drama to have some drama and I'm hopeful that it will have a lot of comedic um influence like a lot of comedic um repercussions uh, cause I like comedy in daytime. I like that it's a, I like daytime. I feel, and I know that I might be alone in this, but I feel like daytime is the best. And like, this is, this is why I like reality shows so much because real life isn't always just drama. You know, there are hilarious moments in real life, right? So it's that mix of both that I really enjoy about soaps when they get it right. And if you watch any reality show, yeah, they're highly dramatic, but they're also hysterical. So, and that's real life. So that's the kind of stuff I would like to see a little bit more of on soaps. You know, you know the typical soap tropes of uh, throwing a drink in someone's face or um, pushing a pregnant woman down the stairs or, I mean, there's so many, oh, or, um... What's in the, there's just so many of them that it's like, but you don't really, although the, the drink thing we have seen on quite a few, especially if you watch The Housewives, that has been done quite a bit. But, for example, when Brandy Glanville threw the, the glass in, the of wine in Eileen's face, she was trying to, she was a little tipsy, and she was trying to be funny and do a soap trope like that, and, um... Eileen was mortified. I mean, like, they don't know each other that well for her to be doing that. So that was like, you know, that, that kind of spend, spelled the end of the relationship. Like, Eileen strikes me as the type of person that you really just get one chance with her. <laughs> and if you mess it up, say goodbye. Um, but she's always been lovely to me. Every, whenever, well, I've only met her one time, but she was very lovely to me and took a picture and... She was, she was very amused at the fact that I wanted to do a Susan Banks face because I, you know how much I fucking love Susan. I love me so, I really hope that they bring Susan back because you know I love me some Susan. Okay, anyways, 
So back to days of our lives. So now, so I told you what happened with Gabby Hernandez. Now there's the other Gabby or Gabigail, but she spells her name G-A-B-B-Y. I mean, um, okay. So this is one of Abigail's alter personalities, the one that Stefan is in love with and wants to stay out permanently because she's in love with him. Now, again, this raises this issue of consent. Oh, let's talk about the daytime Emmys. Yeah. Oh, my God. I almost forgot. Okay, so let's talk about the daytime Emmys. So Days actually won quite a few daytime Emmys, okay? Now, let me tell you first off with the daytime Emmys that I, um, I totally don't. I got them all wrong except one. One of them I got right. Um, let me get my program out and we can look through my program and we can, oh, where is my program? Daytime Emmys. I had it. Oh, here it is. I'm actually auctioning this off. Uh, so I'm auctioning, I'm taking, for all of you that don't know, I'm taking a whole bunch of pictures and I've got like a menu from Kelly's from General Hospital and I've got my Daytime Emmys program and I'm going to put it in a, in a gift bag that I had autographed by a bunch of stars from General Hospital and I'm going to uh, auction it off and give 100% of the proceeds to AIDS Project Los Angeles. So, but I just need to find a, I need to find an online, a reputable online um, company. I'm willing to pay the shipping charges anywhere in the world to whoever wins but i need that payment to clear first before i do that so but i and then i and i'll even prove to you i'll show you the check that i'm right for the whole amount to apla so i'm excited about that okay so let's let's look at the daytime emmy awards and let's find out who won what okay so all right so okay Outstanding Supporting Actor in a Drama Series um, went to, and this is hilarious, but it just goes to show you how interesting their, um, how interesting their uh, nomination process is, but Greg Vaughn, who plays Eric Brady. Eric Brady won Outstanding Supporting Actor in a Drama Series. Can you believe that? Is that crazy? That is craziness. Um, let's see. Drama series writing team. Days of our lives. That's impressive, too. Supporting actress in a drama series. Um, the only one from Days that was nominated was Susan Seaforth Hayes. I didn't think she would win, and she didn't. But her and Bill Hayes did win Lifetime Achievement Awards, and they, they gave a lovely speech. It was really, it was really super nice. Um, okay. Let's see. Uh... Okay, so, all right, so for the Outstanding Guest Performer in a Drama Series, now, <coughs> I didn't, I couldn't remember who the fuck Scooter Braun was, but now I, I Scooter Nelson, I, now I remember, he was the guy that thought that, that knew Nicole from her porn past as Misty Circles and wanted to hook up with her and was trying to blackmail her into hooking up with her, and then she ended up, um, uh, getting him to hook up with his wife instead. So that was, but I now I now they showed a clip and was like, oh yeah. I see. I didn't even remember his name. I just thought he was just you know random guy from, uh, from in the show. Like I just thought I knew he was a random day player. I knew he wouldn't be on that long. Um, okay, so. Uh, for Outstanding Younger Actress, um, no one from uh, Days of Our Lives, the only person that was nominated was Claire. She did not win that one. Okay, let's see. What else was there? A younger Actor went to uh, Rome Flynn from, as Zende Forrester, so no one from... The only one that was nominated... Well, there was two, and one of them I thought had a really big, good shot, and that was Casey Moss, but... Um, he didn't win, but I, I guarantee you he will win Supporting Actor someday because he is good. Uh, Lucas Adams' is trip, I thought it was a little too soon for him to get that nomination, so I don't think he won that one either. Okay. 
Now, let's see, they also had, um, they have all these other awards, like for game shows and informative talk show hosts. Okay, so that, now for supporting actress, oh, I already talked about that. And then, let's see, what else? Oh, writing, I talked about writing, Days of Our Lives just kicked ass. And then for uh, Outstanding Supporting Actor, yeah, I talked about that. Greg Vaughn, totally shocking. That was really shocking. Now, this is a good place for me to talk about the daytime, the digital daytime drama series. So this is, this will, these will be, this will be where I sort of start my daytime drama watching. Um, I think it'll be interesting. Okay, but anyway, so then they had an entertainment news program. Okay, so lead actor in a drama series went to um, Abe. Abe Carver, James Reynolds from Days of Our Lives won for best actor. I mean, and he beat out some big names that had some really good years. So I'm I'm totally thinking that he submitted for his um, Emmy reel. He submitted uh, his work as you know when Theo was in the coma, right? And and and, John, and JJ had shot him. I'm I'm convinced. I'm convinced. Okay, so then for lead actress, I I knew Abigail would not win, um, just because. I thought it was too soon. She did have some good stuff last year, but all of her really good stuff has been this year. Next year, she will definitely be a force to be uh, reckoned with. But uh, Eileen Davidson won, not for her role as Susan, and I'm still surprised that she didn't get a nomination for her role as Susan, um, but she won um, for her role as Ashley Abbott on Young and the Restless, so that was cool. And then for Outstanding Drama Series, Days of Our Lives. Isn't that crazy? That's, I mean, it's really a good thing, too, though, because oftentimes, way back when they had the Soap Opera Digest Awards, those are all fan-voted, and um, the, the, the Days of Our Lives would always sweep up at the Soap Opera Digest Awards, and then they would be largely ignored by the daytime Ennies. But that was back when there were like 12 soaps on the air, right? Now they don't have so many soaps on the air. So, they've got to, they have to, they, I mean, just by, and, and you know what? Both of their wins were well-deserved. It was actually a really good year for Days of Our Lives. So, I give them props. Congratulations. Um, so, yeah. So, that was, I, I, I'm glad that I remember that before the end. I was like, oh. Um, thank you so much for logging on today. I do appreciate it. Uh, the next episode, I'm going to talk about Young and the Restless, and I'm going to talk about um, their winners from the Daytime Emmys. And I will see you soon. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. Actually, next time you see me, I'll be a little bit different because I'm going to shave. I'm going to take, take a bath, a nice Epsom salt bath. And, and I'm going to have a really good time. So I'm very excited about just pampering myself today because that's what today is all about um you can hit that subscribe button on my youtube channel oh you can hashtag days or d-o-o-l to talk about days of our lives or you can also hashtag yr to talk young and restless that is what i'm doing next and you can also hit that subscribe button on my youtube channel to get my youtube video sent to your email inbox every single day and you can um look around there for my story time with angel benton series Next episode is going to be completely in Japanese. So for all of my Nihonjin out there that watch me, your time's coming up. But like I said, that's going to be heavily scripted. I'm going to have to write it all out first. Anyways, thanks for logging on today. Have a great day. Peace out. Wubba, wubba, wubba.